Hey, what's up? This is Frederik Steinmetz, and in this part we're going to talk about the decimate modifier. I use the AND landscape a modifier in order to create this mountain, and uh, let's say we want to create, we want to export this mountain to the IV generator, for example. That is when you use the decimate modifier, and the decimate modifier is actually a very dirty thing so you hardly ever use it but um, sometimes if you have a model with a very high poly count you can actually use it to decimate the polys to lower the poly count if I click this you will see it will automatically go to um, s flat shading so you can already see that this is not a modifier that you will leave turned on during render it's a merely a rough method in order to get to lower the poly count of your models and uh, you can of course set the ratio to of this um, modifier and you can see if you turn down the ratio the face count will go down and you can see now the landscape is becoming a lot more a lot less detailed and also you can see it's creating triangles so the decimate will try to keep your original geometry as much as possible while reducing the face count and as I said this might uh, be good for simulations where you don't have the time or the processor power to ca calculate those uh, tons of faces but you, s but you only need the basic geometry anyway so the rough geometry for example the IV generator and uh, yeah that's actually pretty much the only thing I can imagine where you would make good use of the decimate modifier or maybe for a background object that doesn't need to have the same high high poly count as your foreground objects then you might want to use the decimate modifier as well but as I said it's a quick and dirty one and I hardly ever use it still I wanted to include it in this tutorial se series so thanks for watching and uh, we'll continue with the edge split modifier.